Okay, this should be a fairly quick demonstration because even though it's a complex organ with a lot of other changes, there's only one specific thing we want to demonstrate here. We don't quite know what this organ is yet, don't we? Even though it's named arteriolosclerosis hypertension hydropic change cellular swelling, we don't know what it is at all. So let's zoom in on a little bit. And because we can see some glomeruli very quickly here, 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 I don't have any problems uh, convincing you this is a kidney. Uh, however, you'll notice that many of the tubules uh, look like uh, there's a lot of swelling within the cytoplasm. I'll try to find a relatively normal tubule. Perhaps here. I think I might be able to convince you that looks, this looks like a fairly normal proximal convoluted tubule. This one may look fairly normal. This one may look fairly normal. But look, a bunch of these tubules look like the uh, cells are swollen. And this is not specific to a kidney, and this is not specific to any particular type of disease or organ. All this does is demonstrate the concept of cellular swelling, also called hydropic change. And this occurs when there is serious damage to the cell, perhaps uh, even early death, and the cell is no longer uh, able to activate its uh, sodium-potassium pump, and therefore, the cell uh, takes in water, becomes swollen, and therefore looks uh, less dense than the normal tubule. This demonstrates a very nicely a tubule with hydropic change or cellular swelling as opposed to the more relatively normal tubule here. And this is not specific to the kidney, and it's not specific for any type of disease. What it is, it's a nonspecific change in severe cell injury. Thank you very much.